Well, good morning. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about soaking seeds. And I'm going to be soaking some pea seeds. And what I'm going to be doing is soaking them at a variety of different times. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to put, I'm going to put a bunch of seeds in. And then I'm going to take some seeds out at about the five hour mark. I'm gonna take some seeds out at the 10 hour and I'm gonna take the rest of them out at the 24 hour. And each time I take those out, I'm gonna plant them in those time slots to see if it makes a difference to soak them longer and what have you. So I've got a bunch of seeds here. These are pea, these are sugar snap peas. And to soak seeds, all you do is literally just put them in water. Oops, there we go. So there you can see the peas are sitting there in water. I'm actually gonna put a few more in. Oh, I've got some floaters. Generally your floaters mean bad seed. But I'm gonna put a few more in. There we go. And we're, that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to sit and soak them now. Like you said, in five hours, or might even do three hours because I want to see. I will take some of the seeds out that I'm going to plant. And then I'm going to take it out at the, the five, the 10, and then the 24. But that way we can see if it really makes a difference soaking the seeds longer in faster germination. Now, I know it seems kind of ironic doing this and you think they're going to get all soggy. I was nervous when I first started doing it. But they don't, they actually don't. Now, if you leave them in there a really long time, they might, but I've left them in there over like 48 hours one time because I forgot about them and they still did fine. They actually maintained their integrity. They didn't break down at all. So to soak seeds, you just put them in water and you, you leave them in, soak, in the water soaking. You can do this with a variety of different seeds uh, you can do this with beans, you can do this with all kinds of other seeds, but I mainly only soak my pea seeds just because I like to get them coming up faster uh, because of the short growing time they have because they, it gets so hot here in Utah. You can hear my clock tell me it's <laughs> 9 o'clock. <laughs> Was not planning on that. but. Soaking seeds is an easy, easy thing to do. It helps with the germination process. So I hope you give it a try. All right, I'm out planting now and when I first did this, I thought, oh no, it's going to be squishy. But the seeds actually are not squishy. So you can actually put them right on the ground like that and push it right in without any hesitation whatsoever. So these are the three hour seeds that I'm planting right now. I'm planting them in the same area I planted before, but something's been eating my peas. And if you look here, this is one that I just dug up something's been eating it so i've got to figure out what that is so i'm just going to plant again but this time i'm not going to push the wood chips back over it and i'm going to see if i can get it to start sprouting first and then uh, then go from there but you can see here i've got some pea this is a pea plant but something is really just enjoying it needing it before i can get to it so we're going to go ahead and continue to plant because you never give up just if you have a, a pest something starting to eat you just gotta kind of figure out what it is so here we are and we're going to finish planting the rest of these at the three hours
Well, it's been 10 hours and I've got some more seeds to plant. And so I'm coming out to do that. It is now seven o'clock at night. And let's just see what we got here. So you can see here, I've watered in the seeds that I already planted. And so I'm gonna plant these other seeds now, just the same way. I'm actually just gonna kind of lay them out here so I can push them down. You can see my wood separator. That is going to allow me to know where I put the five hour seeds, the 10 hour seeds, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what I'm doing. My dogs are trying to help me too. <laughs> but you can see my previous seeds, something munching on them. So I pulled the wood chips back just in case that was contributing to it but i'm just going to sit here and plant the rest of these and you notice i plant them pretty close i let's see it's probably about an inch apart and that's okay get out <laughs> you silly mutts uh -uh, out in there so here we go, we're just moving along. I got all these sunflowers here that we'll be pulling out. And looks like I'm gonna use my watering system to be my my guide for the top side. But you can see here that we are Looks like we're gonna be actually perfect for well, a little bit more. But anyways, that's that's how we're doing it. So now I'm gonna just kind of go and grab that and just kind of push it down a bit. And you see my soil is really good, so it goes down pretty easy. And I'll come back and water this in because it's always important to water seeds when you plant them. And. You can see how I'm doing this. And these seeds, you would think they would be soft. They're really not. They're actually kind of firm. Uh, they're not as hard as the, the pea seed is normally, but it still is pretty, pretty firm for sitting in water all day long. And then tomorrow, this is where I'll plant all of the other seeds that have been sitting in there for over 24 hours. And so I'm just kind of covering back up now. And there we go. We are, I've planted now the 10 hour seeds. So we got the three, five, three to five hours. We got the 10 hours that have been soaked and then that will be the 24. All right, so it's now been 24 hours, and these are what the pea seeds look like. I'm dumping them onto the, what do you call it, this used coffee filter that I dried some other seeds out on. And the main purpose of this is just to get the water off of them and allow them to, uh, just make it easier for handling, really. I mean, it's it's not gonna hurt them if they are wet. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go plant them immediately after I get through taking a few photos here for you guys. And you can see the, let me show you the difference on the peas here. So this one is a pea, a, a regular pea. But where, there, okay regular pea and then this is one that's been soaked look at the size difference i mean let me give you some comparison i'm gonna put a penny up so you can see the difference look at that look at that i mean yeah the penny's still larger but look at the size difference in that that how much water has been soaked up into this pea versus that the original pea that you know you get to plant 
So that's what soaking does, is it really helps them to absorb a lot of moisture so that they will start sprouting sooner and really give you a leg up. And I honestly, I soak my seeds frequently. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. It, I, I don't stress about it. If I forget, I forget. <laughs> No worries, but I wanted to show you guys just that difference. I mean, look at all these peats, how much bigger they are. They are just huge compared to the, the normal size pea. So that's what you, that's what you get. And now I'm going to take some photos and go plant them. Here we are. I've planted the five hour seeds, the <clears throat> 10 hour seeds, and now I'm going to plant the 24 hour seeds so we can really see the difference in what, if it makes sense to, to soak them longer. <clears throat> Just to, all in the name of science. <laughs> and Saber's trying to help me out here. He just got in trouble, so he's trying to be a little more kind and respectful. He just ran out into the road. We live on a very busy road, and he just ran out there. I was so frustrated. But anyway, so that's what we're doing here. We're just same thing as we did yesterday, laying them out, and then we'll we'll push them in so that we can just kind of see what we got here. I do have quite a few. It, when you first start doing it, you don't think you have very many and then you start planting them and you're like, whoa, <laughs> where am I gonna put all these? But that's okay, we'll find a place for them. They all have a home in my garden somewhere. <laughs> so we're just gonna put these in. I do notice I have something that is eating my peas. They like them just as much as me. So I'm kind of watching that to see what that is. I think I know what it is. I think it's the pill bugs or you call them roly polies or other things. But we're just going to watch it and I might need to put some diatomaceous earth out, which is just basically ground up shell and so I push these down just not too much you know, about a quarter of an inch is all I'm doing here and and then covering it up whoop here's one I missed and then covering it up <laughs> covering it up here oh naughty dogs all right no, just another one. Oh. Another one. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let me make sure I didn't miss any. Because I can see a lot of these that are being munched on. I will add some diatomaceous earth. It's not a chemical, it's just crushed up shell. Shells. Not shale. Shells. And the purpose of that is it will help deter them so that they don't eat. I want them to have an ability to grow before they get, start getting munched on. But there you go, you can see the process and now we'll document it as we go and we'll see how, we'll see if it really makes a difference to soak it longer or not. These other seeds here, I've gotta go figure out where I'm gonna plant them. 